Hi everyone. In this Revit blog I would like to show you what we do with sections when we are working on a production environment. It is often the case, not in this case that I'm demonstrating at the moment, but it's often the case that you've got more than one person working on a file. And as you might all know, we use sections quite often just as tools that we would like to use during our modeling. So we might just take a quick section through this area over there and then open it up and have a look and then we can see what we are dealing with right but then we might be lazy or we might forget or get a telephone call or something but we won't delete that element and there's going to be a problem especially when you get onto published drawings so we need some way to manage this now if you're not familiar with this Everything in Revit is essentially a family. And for that reason, we will click on this element and we would duplicate that. We would duplicate this family. Right? We can see that it is a section. Let's just duplicate this and call it work in progress or, or hide. Something that we need to hide. All right? Just give it a new name. It's as simple as that. And what you'll see within the in the file browser, you will now have the hide sections that are showing up in the project browser. <coughs> Excuse me. But this isn't enough. We'd like to differentiate graphically between what this section and some other section looks like. And what can we do to do that? Well, we can edit its type and maybe change some of the colors within the tags, family, so we can delve deeper into that. Right? Or we can say, okay, look, we've got full Revit. We can't do this in Revit Ulti, but we've got full Revit. Let's use a filter to go and represent that element. So we would have some sort of for annotative objects have filters so we go visibility graphics overrides you can see it on the right there under visibility graphics overrides we just vector vector a shortcut we've obviously got our annotation categories and we could find sections in here but note that this is for all sections so instead we need to isolate using a filter some other logical filter which we can edit or create new and then we can see we've got our interior filter so if we duplicate this or we'll create new then we can say maybe our, uh, our working sections it's just a description of this it's going to apply to sections there they are and then we need to identify them somehow so we can add a rule the type name maybe the family and type equals there's our hide sections that new family that we've created so we'll be able to identify these families by virtue of their family type we can then add that filter to the project and now we can override what this filter looks like If we want to identify it, let's not use red, let's use something like, I don't know, cyan for argument's sake. It's not something that we're going to print. Let me make it nice and thick. Let's have a look. What does that result in? Can you see how the section line is now cyan? 
And people often ask me what's the difference between clicking on OK and apply. And the answer is if you click on apply, it will apply the changes to that element. Right. What are the other things that we can do to this? We can change it to half tone if we want. Or we can even disable the filter, in which case it will go back to what it was before. Or we can switch them off entirely. So as soon as we've got a view that we would like to publish, then we would do this. We would just switch that visibility off. The filter, we might also make part of a view template. I'm just going to create a new view template here from something that already exists for sections. So we are dealing with 7060 plans. Which one is the 70? Let's just create a new one quickly. We use one of these, the architectural section. Notice that you are able to add that filter to the view template. So if you are managing your views with view templates, you can always just add that filter now that it's an existing and override the lines once again. So now you can manage more than one view using this filter. And boom, they're now off. So if we have multiple views and we want to print them and we just want to switch our working our working sections off, it is as easy as doing that. Right. So we can differentiate Between the sections, if we if we were to uh, just edit the section here, there's our filters. We can differentiate them with the color, and so on. Set the architectural section. definitely differentiate between them quite easily. That's obviously a working section and that is a normal section. Right, so use filters to control your working sections to differentiate them and switch them off and hopefully that will also improve the workflow in your team as you uh, collaborate on your Revit files. Until next time, enjoy Revit!